Good evening, everyone. Elite Gamer here. And uh, tonight I'd like to say a few words out of respect and in memory of the late, great Lou Scheimer. Lou Scheimer was a total additional inspiration and a total, on top of that, a total asset to the late, great and one and only Filmation. A cartoon device syndicate which collaborated and made quite a few animated programs which we'll never forget. It was shows like them and many more that saw us, us children in the 80s, myself being 10 or 12 of them, through the good old 1980s. Well, always the people like Lou Scheimer and the rest of his illustrious actors and vocal cast act actresses which made this brilliant, these brilliant programs what they were and had them stand the test of time to this very day. Lou Scheimer and Filmation and the total everyone he had at his disposal were totally brilliant. The Bulls, all kinds of shows, Freestyle, Shearer, even Masters of the Universe, which was my particular favourite. Especially for the morals, because it was something I gather and still believe to this very day that he thought about quite clearly. Especially well before the syndication of the original Masters of the Universe series, well before it got off the ground officially, even after they actually got the go-ahead by Mattel to actually devise a cartoon series to go in total in conjunction with their toy series. Shimer wanted to do the series well, but then he was very... he thought quite a lot about the public, um, especially children. He, he didn't want to do anything offensive, anything that would um, isolate, scare or frighten them. So he invited somebody to you know, who sort of talking through certain bits of what would be appropriate and what wouldn't be. And as a result, the series was born, and thanks to guys like Lou Scheimer, it was the best thing that ever happened, for what it taught us and the morals. I think the basis in some case scenarios and the morals it taught was that there's always the right way to go about things and the wrong way. And if you go about things the wrong way, when there are so many other methods to go about it, you won't get very far. That's the main premise and what I picked up from these morals. And in addition to that, Lou Shine was practically, as I said, the best man, and probably the greatest producer Filmation ever had. The news of his tragic demise and death saddened me as much as anyone who knew him. And I took very little satisfaction in his demise. I, can, I, give, I hereby give my condolences to his friends and family, his offspring, and everyone who fought the world of him and everything he stood for. Lou Shiner was 84 year old, years old when he died. They're not exactly sure what killed him, but all they do know for certain, or in most case scenarios, is that it, it, it has come to their attention, or more to the point mine, through doing comprehensive study on this unhappy event, for this serious talk out of mark of respect, that he was, although this isn't technically apparently what killed him, it probably didn't in most case scenarios help, but um, apparently the late great Lou Shiner was apparently suffering from Parkinson's disease sometime before he died. So 
So now, I've, the deepest respect to you, Lou Scheimer. I'm now going to play some music from that old series, Masters of the Universe. I respect to you. in conclusion Lou Shiner was a, a great man a decent human being and somebody who generally cared about every conceivable project he ever put forth and that is certainly not a bad way to be So, uh, the deepest respect to for all the times your programs have seen us through the the eighties made people, children like me who were children in the eighties, myself, happy. May I say thank you for everything, Lou Sharma. Rest in peace, Ma. Rest in peace, Lou Scheimer. Most of all, by the power of Grace Gold, thanks. You thank you so much for making all these programs happen. Thank you.